So I'm with Mel from Metricon. Where are we? We're in Rochdale, so in Brisbane. Frizzy South, South Brisbane. yeah. It's um, and so we're in one of the estates here. This house is incredible. It's it's good, isn't it? So it's a very different home for us. So we don't build this type of house normally in Queensland, and particularly not in this sort of estate, like in a fresh estate. It's not a Queensland-inspired home. No, well, this one, as its name suggests, the Bordeaux. The inspiration was actually from a French chateau. So it's got that very classic architecture, really sort of spacious rooms and high ceilings. And I think generally it just feels really elegant. Let's talk about this incredible staircase. Mm. It is seriously grandeur. You walk in and it is there. Yeah. It is next level. Yeah, and it is, it's definitely the hero. So I think that it's the focal point and it needed to remain the focal point. So anything that I introduced needed to really complement that. So I think there's things that I've done like in the front sitting room, I've used a feature tile that was inspired by that wrought iron balustrading. And and I think it was a great way to connect the spaces, but mm. in a really subtle way. So I think that was a, a good way to, I guess... Tie it in. Yeah, and also keep that sense of luxury that this home exudes. Yeah, which it totally does. Mm. I like how it connects the two levels without being too intrusive, and it's still this incredible hero. Yeah, and when like when I walk down those stairs, I feel like I'm a queen. It's just so luxurious and so beautiful. But you're right, it does continue from downstairs to upstairs, so you get that real sense of wow, no matter which space you're in. The Moving in through the house and through um, the different spaces, you do get that sense of luxury everywhere you go from these drapes. Yeah, they're gorgeous, aren't they? And again, that was about those architectural elements. So having those amazing curved windows or arched windows, which we don't do very often, I really wanted to accentuate those and just give them that little sense of luxury. So I guess having that beautiful fabric and the tie backs, they just look beautiful. Yeah, it's incredible. I definitely don't feel like we're in Queensland. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's the thing when you drive into this um, estate, it's so grand, this house. So, you know, you spot it and it's like, oh, I really want to go and see that. Like it, it's yeah very appealing in saying that there is so many windows and it really and their opening um, capabilities still allows all that natural light and that natural airflow which is perfect for Queensland yeah absolutely so that whole indoor outdoor living that we have here it's really important to us so and also part of Metricon I think that's become just our signature so our indoor outdoor spaces are really important to our designs and like you said how we live in Queensland yeah yeah they do connect really well So we've got four bedrooms upstairs. Yeah. Oh. One thing I couldn't help but notice was they all have their own ensuite. Yeah, absolutely. So great for families and they're really spacious bedrooms and that ensuite's a good sizes as well. So I think that, you know, those whole areas just lend themselves to that sense of luxury again. Yeah, they can double up as guest rooms or teenage rooms. Yeah. They've got their own little teenage retreat. Yeah, sort of space. absolutely. And the master suite, like, oh my gosh. So it has you its beat own... beat me to it. <laughs> oh, sorry. So it has its own balcony. <laughs> I which saw that. I just love like that whole overlooking the pool sitting yeah. out there so you like it's in a retreat up there so this gorgeous freestanding tub and massive walk-in robe so it's incredible and no doors I like it. you just walk around and um, you can walk freely in that space yeah um, and it's got a little office as well yeah a little desk set up in there so again that flow is really important I think in this home so the whole home in general has this beautiful flow mm. but that bedroom I, I get in there and I don't want to leave it's just such a stunning space when you were thinking about this and starting to put that together France being the inspiration yeah what books were you reading and what were you going through well I think for me, it's all about creating the best possible spaces that I can and obviously creating something that's a little bit different. So looking for things that I guess will stretch me as an interior designer as well. So yeah, looking for those elements that have just got that little bit of quirk to them like the pendant lighting, I guess, throughout this home. Um, but there's also a fine line with that. I think you need to also pull it back and make sure that things complement each other. It, it's very easy, I think, when you're looking for inspiration to want to use absolutely everything that you yeah. see. So it's that whole concept of less is more in some cases. Well, just when I thought that you guys couldn't impress me further, you have. Thanks so much for showing me around. Oh, my pleasure, Josh. It was really good to have you here and I hope I've inspired you with this home. You've done a great job. <laughs>